Lucas Spinecki, and I'm in love. <laughs> That's right, Little One's Day Adams. That charming, irrepressible little ball of malice who would poison her own brother just to get a ride in the ambulance has grown up and found love. <laughs> any of you back into that crypt until love triumphs to sit in your side. As Wednesday's aunt, it is my duty to make sure she gets to experience the misery of love. So, who is this Lucas Bella? Do they really love each other? What is love anyway? And hey, does this rash look concerning to you? <laughs> so many questions about love, but when you think about it, is there anything else more important? Let's not talk about anything else but love. Aww. Let's not talk about anything else but love. Can't we talk about lofty goals, living souls, altering minds and altering rules? Let's not talk about anything else. lightning reflexes. Gomez, look. Flowers? Who would send something so tasteless? <laughs> the most precious gift there is, more goodylicious than gold, is the blessing we call friendship, whether new or very old. Goodylicious? Who talks like this? The Beneckis, Wednesday's friend Lucas and his parents, they're coming for dinner tonight. Lucas? Yes. But Lucas is a boy's name. Yes. Wednesday has a friend who's a boy. It's nothing, darling. Puppy love. Put these in water. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I shot dinner. Oh, Wednesday, that's lovely. Wherever did you find it? Petting zoo. Uh, thank you, dear. Come, Lurch. Guess for dinner. Fresh meat. <laughs> Daddy, I have something very important to tell you. What? Can you keep a secret? Of course. Oh, Daddy, Lucas wants to marry me. What? Well, Lucas loves me, and I love him, and I think I want to marry him. Think? Well, I've never met his family, and he's never met mine, and I just want to make sure the families can get along. What are you saying? I'm saying we're who we are, and they're from Ohio. You're right. <laughs> this is important. Let's go tell your mother. No, Daddy, she'll ask a whole bunch of embarrassing questions and wreck the whole thing. You don't want me to tell your mother you're getting married? Well, after dinner, if they're all friends, then we'll tell her. I've never kept anything from your mother. It's one teeny little secret. Please? Please? Okay, I won't tell her. Oh, thank you, Daddy! Our little secret, right? Yes, yes, our little secret. Oh, Wednesday, you're growing up so fast. It'll be Thursday before I know it. <laughs> now run along. What's wrong with Wednesday? What do you mean? She's smiling, like this. Maybe it's this boy. This boy! Don't be silly. Ha! I say, and is it double ha! Thank you. But what if, and I have no reason to say this, but what if she did meet a boy who stole her heart? Don't be silly. When that happens, I'll be the first to know. Wednesday tells me everything, just like you do. Gomez, you do tell me everything, 
Don't you? Of course. I think Wednesday and I should have a little chat. Actually, Paloma, 
Your mother and I have had second thoughts about this dinner. Daddy, I am your only daughter and your eldest child. If you can do this one thing for me, then I just don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just a little dinner? Oh, thank you, Daddy! Well, it seems I've been outvoted. So, dinner it is. Dinner, and then, the game. Oh! Oh, not the game. Can't we all just act normal? Define normal. <laughs> Shh, please. There are normal people not like you, not like me. And you are? 
a grand tour for the missus, then dinner. Oh, and after dinner, the game. Oh yeah? A kind of game. Did you ever play charades? Yeah. Well, it's nothing like that. <laughs> Come on, Mal, I'll show you the moat. Did you bring your swimsuit? <laughs> did you get the flowers? Oh, yes, in the lovely poem. Wherever did you find it? Oh, I wrote it. No. When I'm depressed or feeling blessed, a poem will get it off my chest. They come to me, they take no time. They just pop out and always rhyme. Maybe you should see someone about that. And they're always about the one thing that everyone needs yet so few have. Healthcare. Why, love, of course. Oh, yes, love. <laughs> Like 
crazy Wednesday Adams. She's crazy, all right. Pugsley, stop sneaking around like that. It's my house too, okay? Excuse me while I kill my little brother. <laughs> I'll take care of this. Hey, it's the Pugster. What's up, little man? <laughs> you trying to be cool? Uh-huh. Because you're not cool. Your sister thinks I am. She'll get over it. <laughs> We're going to go now. Can I go? <laughs> Sorry, Pugs. I'm with Lucas now. Bye. But wait! Mary Poppins turns into Medea. I don't understand your references. Well, stop the texting and pick up a book once in a while. And quit whining about your sister. Start thinking about how you're going to live your life. Ty, my dear, is a thief. She'll steal your soul and flee on little fairy wings. And stay out of my stuff or I'll rip your leg off and bury you in the backyard. I love you. <laughs> Closure is in the form. 
a fairy tale. Once there was a man with two beautiful children and a beautiful wife. A humble man who treasured his wife and worshipped the ground she walked on. And everyone lived happily ever after. Thank you. Full disclosure. Well, we'll just have to come back to you, won't we? Yes, well, let's hear from... Vesta, the chalice. you 
drama. So, what happens now? Can things be repaired, or do you all leave here in 30 minutes feeling vaguely depressed? Things are upside down, but that's what happens when you play. Dark night. It's perfect! 
I think I'll sneak a little moment with my new Yoo-hoo! Where are you hiding? Are you playing with me, my only one? There you are! Look at her! Lovely, is she not? And so far away. Yes, and that is a block distance, is our friend. Closeness? No, thank you. Quarter of millions of miles away. We never fight, each waiting a heartbreaking separation. Each meeting, a happy reunion. <laughs> Ulysses? Listen, I'm homeschooled. What's your point? I can't <laughs> live without you. Okay, prove it. Stand here, press this on your head, and wait. Wait, you're gonna, uh huh? You're crazy. And you're not crazy enough. That's the problem.
cockroach? I can't sleep. Why not? There's no monster in my closet. <laughs> I'm sure he's hiding someplace else. Mommy, I have a full disclosure. Yes? What if you tried to do something to somebody, but you ended up doing it to somebody else by mistake? Are we talking about anyone we know? I was talking to Grandma before, and she said... Oh, don't listen to that ancient woman. She may not even be part of this family. <laughs> Is Wednesday really going to marry that guy? She might. Oh, no, make me feel better, Mommy. Life is a tightrope, my child. And at the other end is your coffin. Better? Uh-huh. Thanks, Mommy. <laughs> now go back to sleep where the monster won't come out and eat you up. Sleep well, my little vermin. Your mommy's life has fallen apart and she needs to go away for a while. And if you miss me, you can thank your father. But my darling, my only one, I'll make it up to you. You want to see the world? Check. You want sewers? I'll show you sewers fit for a queen. Lurch, where's that guidebook? Hotel Kaka, room to toilet. Condemned six times by the Board of Health, rating minus three stars. No towels, no windows, no staff. Bingo, the worst hotel in Paris. Lurch, get them on the line and book their worst room. Hurry, this is the final round, my friend. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Marcia ship had me a suitcase. She's heading this way. What? It's the end of the family. Fix it. <laughs> I can't live with a man who keeps secrets. Put these in the hearse. There's a secret I still haven't told you yet. Oh, and what is that? That you are the most magnificent, the most exquisite, the most desirable of all women. That's no secret. <laughs> Years ago, when you wanted to marry me, we went to your father and told him and he said, great, let's go tell your mother. What did you say? How could I possibly remember you what I said? You said no. She'll ask too many embarrassing questions and wreck the whole thing. Well, that was different. My mother was condescending, judgmental, and loved nothing more than to stir up trouble. Uh-huh. Oh, God. I've turned into my mother. And Wednesday is you. Isn't it wonderful? You did that like a lawyer. No. Just a husband and a father. Not so easy. In fact, quite difficult to be. Let's live before we die. Let's laugh before we cry. Let's hold each other tight and dance. If I have caused you pain, it's easy to explain. Come fill me with delight and dance. I was wrong. 
I knew it all along. Forgive me with a song and dance. as I promise to forever be a proper and honest husband until we are blessed with death. Adam, you changed our lives. How can we ever thank you? Tell your friends, word of mouth is very important. Wednesday, step forward and speak the words every mother longs to hear. I'm sorry. You really want to marry this boy? I do. Mother, may we have your blessing? Of course. May you have many children and may they give you as much grief as you've given us. Attention, everybody. I have a full disclosure. I'm taking my beautiful wife to Paris. Special package, one day, seven nights. <laughs> Besta, Besta, what are you doing? I'm embracing the unknown. Our war, Festa, may you find your bliss. Excuse me, Festa, but where are you going? To the moon, Alice. <laughs> To make Wednesday and Lucas fall out of love with each other. But I never got to drink it because. I passed it to my mother. And I drank it and became who I really am. Which made me fall in love with my family all over again. And I reached deep into my soul and forgave your father. Young man, for purely selfish motives, you turned a simple dinner party into a night from hell. And we couldn't be more proud. <laughs> oh, Pugsley, you're an artist. You rearranged life itself and everything came out even. So you're still going to torture me? Of course, until you get a girl of your own. <laughs> My son, you embrace the darkness of your despair and suddenly the world makes sense. You are a true Adams. Love triumphs at last. <laughs> My beloved ancestors, you are free to return to your crypt until we meet again. We are not losing a daughter. We are gaining three Benekis. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Are you unhappy, my darling? Oh, yes, completely. <laughs> We're We're not not